Oh, you want me to remember how to drive the machine? No, no, I'll do it. Well, no, and then, um, yeah, Kath got gone and said, you got a, a hot date. I'll make you a copy then. Oh, come on, load. Thank you. Oh, I'm load. Taking the machine, hey, um, I need light coloured thread. Well, I've just got to look at what Gray. I'm selling. I've got black on there at the moment. I don't want black. I want black. I know where they are. I do. I found everything. You found everything you need. Oh, here we are. I've got bare feet. Don't drop the pins. I'll try. I've got a magnetic <laughs> pin cushion. There's half a chance. I've got bare feet. Don't drop oh, I've got my phone up too. <laughs> uh, oh, look, there's only a few people waiting for us. Oh, my goodness. Good afternoon. Am I on? Yeah, yeah, I've got the right camera on. How are we all? It's a bit cash here. I had a very, very busy morning and now Emma's still sewing. I've I've stopped. I've had to be Steve today because he's somewhere in the the highlands up between Buller and Hotham somewhere. Bless his little heart. And he has no phone reception, so we can talk about him all day long. I got a photo last night, no text, no nothing. It was just a picture of a pizza. That's all I got. And when I said, where are you? He said, uh, he was at the pub at Bright. I said, it's a very nice place. And I try to explain in the autumn, the poplar tree, Steve, which are the skinny ones and stuff. And he goes, I got back what I get. I can see that would work. Anyway, good afternoon, Floria. Good afternoon, Michelle Grimble to Lisa and Emma. The girls are saying hi. Denise says, hi girls. I oh, wish she's gone. <laughs> can hear her way up the other end of the house. Um, good afternoon, Anne. And Dorothy McCorkle's here too. And Margarita's here. Lynette's here. Bron, good afternoon to you. Sorry, Bronwyn. I should, shouldn't abbreviate, should I? Lois is here. Yvonne Chapman says, good afternoon, Emma and Lisa. <laughs> she's gone. Um... It is a lovely sunny day today. Yes, it is, Diane. It's, it's beautiful here. Unfortunately, because of the way the lights uh, work on our set, we actually have to have, I've worked out, one of, the, one of the, the blinds down on this side that looks out on my veggie garden. So, but it is, it is beautiful. I can see it. Uh, Catherine, good afternoon to you. It is a beautiful day here. She says on the central coast, that is good to know. We are all expecting the rain, aren't we, tomorrow afternoon? Good after s afternoon, sweetie. <laughs> Jenny. Oh, Jill, are you back from your fabulous weekend? Loved the photos, by the way. It looked really, really nice. Cheryl, hello. You've got your parcel? Excellent. Uh, I have started Judy Vermeulen's in the building. Fantastic. Um... Oh, I've got myself sidetracked side now. Can't remember what I was going to say. Uh, yes, sorry, parcels. I have over a certain amount now. I kind of do the maths for you. I am upgrading a lot to Express Post this week. One, because I haven't got Steve breathing over my shoulder and I can get away with it. Um, but two, if I can see, if I can see you've got things in there, you know, if it's over, so if it's up sort of around the $100 mark and I can see you've got stuff going on, that is for Christmas. If I can squeeze it in um, to our Australia Post discount, we get it a certain amount that I'm doing that for you just so you get it all done. <gasps> Felicity Bond is in the building from St. Helens in Tasmania. Lovely to see you. Hello, Lois. Hello, Susan. Oh, Sharon, you're home. Fantastic. I only I just caught your email this morning, so I'm glad you saw we said hello. I'm glad that you're home and I know what you're going through. Well, I've got a fair idea. So... I hope you are going to be okay with the rest of the week at least. Best of wishes that you are now home. You know how Rob said the other night, I fixed that camera overhead. And he's not here to get up and fiddle with it like he did the other night. So 
we might just hop up and turn that off. I actually don't think we need the overhead today. I think we'll be pretty good. So I'll do that in a minute. Um, hello, Bobby. Hello, Kath. Hello, Kathy. I did have a hot date on Sunday night. Thank you very much to you. Um, Marie is here. Marie Noel. Hello, everybody. Oops, got caught on the thread. Do they deliver pizzas out bush? No, Flicky was at the pub in Bright. There's nothing. Bright is a very sophisticated little town. Very, very nice. Karen DeWilt says, hello, here. housework done. Phew, yes. Well, I have to keep this place clean now because Emma gets here on a Tuesday and she's the domestic goddess. <gasps> Karen, hello. You're in Malaysia, aren't you? You're not here. You're, you're, you're over there. I hope you're really well. I've lost track. I know you were here for a while. Joan says hi. Nancy says hi. Fiona Bill's here. Good afternoon. You're here in time for after your night shift nap. That's fantastic. Deb, Bernadette, Kerry, I can keep going. Up. Oh, Meg's in the building. Megan. I was just showing off my makeup wipes to Emma. Oh, fabulous. Well, there's always a silver lining. I'm sorry your business got... Um, what are you making? She's making more bunting. Francis is here, right. Sue Morris says, oh, never mind. She's, she's out there making purses because we've got a lot of stuff to do this afternoon. Um, and I kind of left her. Hello, Melanie. I left her. Left her high and dry because I'm the one that just had to get new stuff loaded on the website. And of course, I'm not. I'm still following written instructions that were left by the lad. Jackie, what have you done? You've just made my Freons and the Walnut Shortbreads. Oh, that is fantastic. I've uh, got a new, the new recipes, there are two actually, for Quilter's Life members. Um, this week I'm putting up Mum's Swedish apple crumble recipe that she got from a lady from Sweden about 30 years ago. It's, it's almost like a fancy schmancy deconstructed dessert when I think about it now, but very, very yummy and you actually put chocolate on top. So that's coming out, um, and I'm doing I'm doing that little chicken sandwich, pick Are and forth thing. Today? No, I'm not doing today. No, that for course, like girls will get that. Uh, so Judy for Milan's in the building. Sorry, you missed that. Hello, hello, Judy. <laughs> she and the prize she's winner. she's noticed. Oh. Zips. Yes, she is the prize winner. That's her big piece of paper stuck to the wall out in the office. I know for her gift voucher. Linda says hi. Oh, Diane, I am not surprised that you are still waiting on a parcel. You know, the, the comforting thing now when girls ring and say, I can't, my parcel's not here. It's lost. It's in... It's my face in shot. Hello, if my face is in Your shot. Your face is in shot. Hi. Hi. Yeah, just doing a little, uh, okay, where do I want to go? My, my parcel is lost. It's in Shun Sunshine West or my parcel... It's not lost. Oh, actually, Diane's going to be miles away lost but no if but it's not lost if they can see it that's right it's, it's just trendy. having a holiday yeah it's just having a holiday a stop over right. Rhonda barry's here too oh man they're oh you got vips in today are you ready no i'm going to fix that flickering light when you get back here you can't see the flickering light but i've got a camera you know you know the story it's the ongoing saga of camera four all right while em's just finishing getting ready uh, i mentioned if you didn't join us on sunday night we had a lot of fun well, I had a lot of fun, um, and uh, we talked. I talked about a couple of things that I was going to. I'll be back. White thread, not black. White thread. Yep. You sure about that? Yep. Okay. Um, mentioned a couple of things. Just little specials are going to be today. So I've got one now. The, you know, we always have plans. We always have plans that don't always come to fruition, but this one. I mentioned to you that with this one actually has this is one of the spanking new ones these haven't been out of the box and I mentioned to you as you know we're not reopening the shop at the moment thank you we're not reopening the shop at the moment we've chosen to stay online because next year I want to we just want to reassess when things all settle down we do don't we we want to reassess in the meantime it is a good excuse to get out and do what we we love to do which is run events aka Waratah events and not just catch up with personal. people in, in their hometown or in their guild or in like that or in their local shop 
right, so as I mentioned, we are going to do craft all over more. Well, Emma caught that in the middle of a conversation today on the phone. I had to lower my like, eyebrows. Uh-huh. Yeah, but we, we haven't done one for a long time, so I'm yeah. quite excited. I accidentally... Um, Mel's someone here the other day who was a stranger and I had to do a oh you don't speak that I'm very sorry because you know <laughs> we usually show, yeah. we do a full we do a full yeah, frontal thing yeah. so that and there sorry. is there's no embarrassment about being in each other's personal space anymore Deb's looking forward to your zips oh so Mel hey. says here Mel's here for a short time but a good time Ooh. I'm guessing she didn't write that but I'm going to make that up grandkids school pick up oh yeah, we are so not there yet. When it's not, <laughs> not for a while. Right. So, with that, it is very silly, is it not, Kui san, for me to keep all of these cake stands that were going into the tea room? Just enough for us to have fun. We have kept enough for us to have fun. So, I got to know that gorgeous girl that was the manager at Villaro Bosch and got that deal. And this one, obviously, I've opened it up out of the box, upside down, is one of the beautiful classic Art Deco. Um, can you say deco? Nouveau deco. Art nouveau. No, it's not art, art deco. nouveau. It'd be more deco than I think nouveau. that's what I put on the description. Cake stands. They are very simple. They're very stylish. They're very contemporary. So plate, we, plate stand. we bought all of these for our retreat that didn't happen, for exhibition stuff at the gardens. But, you know, we, we now realise we don't need as many as we have. We can do whatever we want to do next year with... 20. Less, yeah. No, 20. Yeah. Oh, yeah, less. 20 less. With yeah. less. Yeah, 10 at your house and 10 Do you remember how house. much these cost me? Oh, a very lot. We um, never told Robert. No. I'm not putting it on Facebook. They're on the no. website. Um, Don't tell. They're, they're absolutely... Look, once you've got one, you might have your grandmother's, but once you've got one... Christmas, don't we? We load up the middle of the table. Your beautiful Easter... There's a Facebook post from one Easter morning, and it just looks... Magnificent. So you load up, example, uh, the classic high tea, obviously, yep. sandwiches, hot stuff. Sam sorry, hot, hot stuff, sandwiches, don't sweet you put stuff. Hot on top? No, no, all the photos of all the high teas. Okay, they go in that way. The other thing that I did do is the trio of salads. Oh, yum. So you do the roast pumpkin and spinach pineapple salad down here and then you do the Caesar and then you do something else on top. Well I have done mine with one of my, I put my dinner set, my my, my special dinner set Yo. on mine and I actually use one of my serving bowls in the top and it just works. Oh, oh yeah, I put, I put strawberries, I put fruit it just uses up less space and I think Christmas table wise it's shortbread, it's mince pies it's yep. fruit and, cake and there's a really good thing about it I know I'm going. We're selling them to ourselves. Now. Yeah, we are. You're going to go in. You've already got it set, and everybody eats the hot things. So you take out the. You empty do the swappies, and you put in the next the one. lovely warm scones. Oh, that's what we did. So we used all of these when we first got them for the high tea with the who's who. <gasps> that's right. At the warehouse. So there is some of these. I know it's a weird and wonderful thing for us to have, but. <laughs> It's us. It's very craft and it's very craft and cook show. Yeah. It's very a quilter's life. Um, yes. So now the other thing, the quilt. If you are a member of a quilter's life and you order one, I need you to put in the comment section down the bat bottom that you are a quilter's life member, because then for the quilter's life girls, we're also I'm doing these because these go with the recipe that I'm doing. I've got a very Sophisticated? Can I use that term? You know the classic chicken sandwich filling? Sandwich. I've, sandwich. Mm. I've redone that. I'm oh, sorry. I've done a recipe for that. But if you have people in your life that are gluten-free, that don't eat bread, celiac, yep. celiac, all of that, you can tweak the recipe and instead of putting it in bread, you're going to float it in a boat. Do you like that? Do you that float your boat? I'm trying to look at where all the cameras are. I've set them up for you, but they're not really set up for more. There you go. Look, aren't they so cute? So we're putting in a little pack of these as well if you order one and you're an AQL member and I will get that little recipe up, you know, with the chopped celery and the mm -hmm. fresh chives and all that stuff. Right, that's that. Now, zips, let's get on to what oh, we're really can here I just for. Piece, keep talking for just a little bit. I just want to piece some fabric. What? I know, I know. I'm oh, weird. the other thing is too, they will take anything from a side plate that you can put any size plate on and they've got little rubber 
wraps around these so she don't slip. Yes. Well, you can carry them to the table fully loaded and they don't fly off. Oh, yeah. There's no flying saucers. Oh, my God. Right, that down there. That's immediately going to be in my way for the whole thing. Well, here, pass it this way. No, it's okay. Okay. Right, zips. Yes, what you can see. <laughs> well, you're fine, Em. Just, just well, they're, they're behind behind the, the machine. Um, yeah, okay. Neither of us are colour coordinated for the stand today, by the way. Oh, gr oh no, I'm a bit dark. Man, we look a bit summer and winter. The reason I've hung the zips on the wall is, and I will be honest, I said I need the ladies today to appreciate that when we, the way that we're selling the zips to start with, we're selling them as a set. But if you order more than one set, they will come as a continuous length. So I'll explain a bit more. But they're all hanging. So we will actually cut them off as you do your orders. So one, because that makes sense. So if you order two, you will get a continuous length and you've got more flexibility. Now, I'll show you. I'm going to give myself an epileptic fit with that camera. The flashy one. <laughs> all right. So... While well, Emma's sewing, these are our beautiful zips. So what you're looking at here, look, 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 look. Hurry I up, can't I can't look. Oh, sorry, you want me to... Yeah, I want you to finish. Not, you have not to do so... it now. Yeah, because I need this bit oh. in my Okay, so... That is one continuous piece, and it's a metre long. And then what you get with one meter, so this is all in one pack, with one meter is three beautiful pulls. So we have a little flower. Now she's rustling. Oh, sorry, man. We've got a little heart, if I hold it like that. And you can see that they are rainbow, just like the zip. So the finish on these, I suppose, is going to be the same as our beautiful forceps that we've got. So you've got a heart, a star, and a flower all together. Would you like to show the ladies them in all a under the zip? Sure. In a minute, in a minute, in a minute. So if you if you if you order the one meter with the three, you'll get the one meter, and then Em's going to show you how you actually load the pools on. In a minute. Mm -hmm. That's all good. But if you order two okay. sets then uh, you will get a two meter length, continuous length of it all together. It is stunning. And we're going to show you lots of different ways to use it today. And that's the Royal Week as Emma is. No, you've, you've seen it. You've had the lobotomy. Had the lobotomy. All right, this is the paler one. And I've got some fabrics here that I'm going to show you that go beautifully with them as well. So look at that. You might say, I don't need your fabric, Lisa. I know exactly what I'm doing with that. You, you really don't need to show me. And I will, I will wear that. Look at that. Beautiful. So that one, slightly different. This one's got a star with the flower, with the heart. I'm going to show them over here to you because I want you to be able to see. There you go. I lay them down there. You can see how big they are. This is one of these things that I knew we wanted to do and I knew we had to get them in but we just had to we just had to get there because to set it all up it was just you know it wouldn't have worked on the old website look at that I'm going to leave that there because I want to show you other things that go with it Now I should say I pulled it off so on the, on the home page of the website there is the banner for today's show and everything that we're showing you today is, is on that. So you don't have to hunt through the website. There's quite a few things I've put up. But if you click on the live show on the 9th at the top, everything is everything is in there. <sighs> I actually did it. I created another problem out there, but I've actually managed to do that bit. All right. This this really floats my boat. Look, look, look. And, and I think you can pick. It's metallic gold. What would Natasha say? Everyone needs a little bit of that in their life. That is what Nat would say. Look, look at that. It is just, 
It's, it's just incredible. All right, then with this one, you have got a little star. So if you're doing Christmas stuff, look at that. A little gold star. And this one has a beautiful snowflake in it. And a heart. So we've sort of, we did spend a bit of time, maybe maybe a little bit uh, too much time. Oh, did they hear morning, us? Did they hear us? Deciding which pools to put with which, based on the theme, the colour, all of that um, together. Let me just, I'm trashing my own display. We'll pop that one back. And then we've got silver. And this is the silver one. Now, what did we decide in? Oh, yeah, we've gone Christmas again. So you've got snowflake, snowflake, and flower. This was kind of based around it going with Melbourne as well, wasn't it? Yep. And a little star for Christmas. Oh, no, it goes with what you've got over there with the set that you've done. This, that, this set, the silver goes with yeah, this one. Yeah, with that one. Okay, so we'll do that in a tick. All right. So just to give you an idea of what we, we did a quick hunt through this morning to have a look at what we thought went really well with fabrics. Oh, Sharon says, now you show me when she's just finished 15 zip packs for Christmas. Sharon, you are your own worst enemy. You're just too organized. You're just too organized. Well, just she's just proving that it is possible to just zip on through these projects. Oh no, we're not starting the zip the whole. No, zip, that's it. Zip, that's no, done. that's it. You're done. Okay. Right. So what M is got? Before you say, I don't know how to do that. Or M's, you have a zipper phobia. Well, that's me. I have a zipper phobia. You did, I? but you've overcome it. I've overcome a couple of phobias lately. Do you sing Happy Birthday while you're trying to stir the zip? That was my dad's hypnosis thing, but. Fear of heights. Oh, really? Yep, they tell you to sing things to yourself. I have tell no yourself stories fear of about getting on a plane. <laughs> Let me on the plane. Get me on the plane. Now, what's the line? No, what's my line? Get me off this island. That's going to be my <laughs> line as I go up the up the plank. It's not the plank, it's the air bridge. Thank you, the air bridge. Just to show you again, there's the, see, there's the three that you're going to get with the aqua, for example. And you can see them actually sitting on the zip line. look gorgeous. Um, what M was going on about is <laughs> if you order going on to me about, not to you, if you order two two lots, then you're going to have a lot more flexibility, but then you're going to have pairs. And that means you could make a larger bag, for example, that has a long zip at the top, and you're going to have pairs of them so you could actually have matching ones in the middle. That pull open from the center or what what no, no you can zip one? it oh shut for the ladies and show them how you would zip your bag shut in the middle and they kiss oh look at that i do like that right so we played with fabric big and time zips. i'm gonna i'm gonna trash the stand you ready Oh yeah, we we didn't do anything with that. We just no, we don't we don't need to. We just, just took our breath we away. We just need to show the old Suzanne trick. <laughs> this goes, goes with this. So I have tagged these. I actually discovered a couple that are not on the website. So um, oh. yeah, look. <sighs> yeah, yeah, it's a thing. Oh, all right. So that one worked. This worked, which is not up yet. So I will get that up for you. That's an Essex yarn with metallic through it. Um, we used to have that in like silver and she had it white in silver. or something. I made Sarah's dead bag out of that. You did too. Now, I showed this. Isn't this gorgeous? Oh. Yeah, we had this on Sunday night. You didn't show me that this morning. No, I did not show you this morning. But... See what I mean? Nice. But but this, I I did tell I did tell the girls the other night that I would have a look for an for, ombre. Um, yeah, for an ombre. Who said good morning? Someone said morning. Good morning. Hello, Ellie. How are you? Ellie's up there in the northern hemisphere. Yeah. How's um? Oh, the white. Look. Oh, yum. How's that? They met. Has that? That's pretty. I had to look at it on the screen because I can't, can't see, see the other box from here. And see if you pull this away. 
I just, I just love that with that because it pulls up all the colours that are in it. But if I lay this over the... Oh. <laughs> just having much. a moment. I've just realised something we didn't talk about with the rainbow. I need to make a little purse with my ombre fabric with my rainbow zip to put my rainbow forceps in. You do. You do. That would be the little one that we called the zippity doodah this morning. The zippity doodah. Yes. That's a zippity doodah. Now, when you get to having a little bit of a look and a play as well, this this is the darker teal. So this one's the darker teal. You can see the darker teal zip and see this beautiful ombre which I've put in, I've tagged for you on the banner is 306. But look, just... Um, yeah. So, you know, you might not want to mess around. You might want to go back and have a look at what we've done with ombres and ruching and all of that and put it all together. So my girls know what I'm like. I would have this as my little purse and I would ruch up something like this for the flowers and then I would have the zip that pulled it all together. No. You know I didn't like zips and now we're just surrounded by zip. Right, so that all zip works. By the, not by the meter no. even, that's by the ton. Yeah, we are going to do some little kits but we also just wanted you to be able to get oh, started. There you go. You can show the girls this one if you want. Is that's this one going to be a kit? Yes. That's and a this kit. one. They, they, right. That just happens to be the two that we have prepared earlier. Right. So we're going to show you the, how this works today, aren't you? Are you showing how this works? Mm, close. Close. We can do. What have you got to make up? I've got just flat to start with and then oh, I yeah. was going to go to 3D. Okay. So we're going to go. So this is, this is, this is essentially flat well that's flat with a slight flat with a a, a, a turn down because the flat oh, yeah, that yeah. we'll do will have a, a zip yeah essentially yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, flat. Yeah, it's flat so this for example this one's going to be a little kit now this is also new zip in here but it's not it's not going up yet i'm being i'm being a bit mean because I need to get my kits done first. So that's just a beautiful soft gold zip on black and then we've just got a classic little pull. What we were what we were trying to do this morning was come up with a few ideas for the fellas, let's face it, or those that are not into florals. Mm. Just a bit of a fella thing. So this fits oh conveniently my laptop. Oh which we can't demonstrate right now. <laughs> no, because it's in use. Um, but that will fit a standard size laptop. Fifteen inch laptop. So you're going to do the the turn down. Yeah, that would that would that's flat with the turn down. It's flat with the turn down. New terminology coming up. <laughs> so um, these two I've I've tagged as well, but we are going to do a kit for this. So it's all together with instructions because not everybody wants to sit and listen to us and rewind us. Travel on. Pause. Can Stop. I have, can I have the other? You know my fave. Can this I one. have this one? Oh, so this one's a kit as well. Not quite. Finished. Not quite. So it's not up yet, but it will be. How cute, how cute, cute. So I stash stuff, right? And and not for myself, but for you and me. And every now and then we go, it's time. We have found what Bring works. So I had this beautiful green zip come in. I've gone, yep, it's time. So it is green with gunmetal grey teeth. And I've teamed it up with Summer Palace Lattice. Emma has very cleverly fussy cut. Are we putting enough fabric in these kits so the girls can do that? Probably. We, yeah. pro we make sure that we do. And then on this side, we're going to have a little plain panel. And I've got little Chinese charm coins that we're, Em's just pinned them on so you can see. But have a look at this construction. Isn't that super cool? We're putting a tab in. Is that right? We're going to add a little pull on the end. In so here. you've got something to hang on to when you close it or open it. But again, Both ends. you know, it's so how hard is it to buy for teenage boys, let alone make something? Yeah. So I think that with a gift voucher for JB Hi-Fi. Yeah. Or even some of the Sukin for Men Cat skin men do. stuff that you can oh, get. Oh, well, that's true. Because it's nice. It's a little bit of Natio, a little bit yeah. of Natio cream in there. And you're going to show them how that's done? Yes. All right, and then we've got, you've got other stuff to would, show. Would, would you like me to show how to put the pull on first? I would, I would. We're going to do that. Did we tell the ladies that this, these aren't your average zips? 
These are wider than the oh, average yeah. bear. They're not dress zips. They're good, sturdy Bag zips. zips. Um, just so you know as well, can I have that? I'm, well, you're putting that up today, aren't you? Yeah, I'm making a new makeup bag purse kit. So we had four. Where's the? Where is it? There it is. There it is. Can I just have the purse out? Yes. So we did. We sold out of of this lovely one with the woven Japanese. So we've gone a little bit more blingy. So there will be a new one that I will get done this week because a lot of people just like to buy it as a kit done. So it's got everything in it. So these are going in with that metallic gold zip. And black vinyl. Can I have that? What would you like to have there? Oh, so this is the lining? This is the lining, right? It yes. must be. We have vinyl. So this is new in. This is shiny. But again, like the cork, super easy with a rough back. So it's, it's not a slip and slide job. You don't need anything fancy schmancy to sew it with it. It's just sew it in normal. So that's going together with this on the front amber lining. Look at that pull with that fabric, the pretty fabric. Metallic yeah. gold zip with a little flower pull. And on the side. And we did have fun this morning. <laughs> we had a few moments. We did. So that is what this bag's going to become this is my bag i'm going to do it really quick because i want one right this is what happens i promise the girls things from me like i'm on the never never finishing things off and i get sidetracked and stuff like that. Anyway. and then i come in and just what what did you say yeah I that's what like i thought too I put these back here why did why did i get the black I got these out for a bit. What's this out for? Because you felt that this went with this oh, also. Yeah, 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 because yeah. we need something that is absolutely non-directional. Right. So with all the bags M's doing today, you need to make sure you've got a non-directional print because it's going to go round. So the sure ducks that. are going to be up the right way on the front and they're going to be upside down on the back. Or underwater upside down on the back. <laughs> Right. So we had a look through at like the wicker. Wicker's fine. Because we've put that piece in on the other side. That's correct. This is fine because it goes right around non-directional. I want to do one with Hampton Stripe because of that other sample. So yes. it's Hampton Stripe. Hey, why is that right. on the table? It's just gone. And the that. cranes are fine. So I got out the cocker cranes, um, tagged those again because with the gold zip, pretty flash. And this would be nice for a fella. Yes. I want one, but that'd be a fella one. There's a little bit of the gold, a little bit of the red cranes left, but not much, so I didn't bring it in. But uh, you'll find those if you just put in Koka, K O W K A. You need that back. One thing that I had hanging on the back wall on Sunday night, I've even forgotten to mention, then I forgot to put it on the website. I mean, sorry, in the newsletter, but it is on the website and I stuck it on Facebook. Where are our Christmas clipboards? Emma, why do you, do you own a Christmas clipboard like this? No. no. Look at that. So if you That's want it, flash. is it like that? Mm. So you've got beautiful uh, four inch wide pieces that are going to be just perfect for Christmas. So, um, or you might like to give it as a gift. So they come in a piece of bubble wrap and wrapped up so they're all protected. So they're up on the website as well. I did not tag this, but I can do. I have the technology to do that in a minute. But you know how. It's a nice gift for someone. Or you make something up with all of these during our Christmas week and our Christmas demos and keep the fancy schmancy clipboard for yourself to put all your stuff on. Put that back there. Um, the silver, can you pass me down Melba? The silver, of course, is going to go with Melba. Can I have your zippy zip back? Please. With your three pulls on, just for a minute. There you go. So the silver is going to go beautifully with all of the Nouveau collection. I haven't even told them how much a set is. If you haven't gone a lot, what's in a set? A set you get a meter. We've been through this. I don't know why she's prompting me with questions. Stop it, you're listening. ABC News Channel. <laughs> um, Sorry, Emma, do it again. So What's Lisa, in a set? What do you get in a set? You get one metre of this beautiful metallic gold silver, oh, sorry, silver zip or any of Bag them. Bag weight zip. And you get three pulls. Yep. What are the, 
I haven't watched something like one of those morning advertisements. Infomercials. Shows. Infomercials for so long. Um, Twelve dollars. So you're, it's four dollars a zip, depending on what you're doing with it. You don't have to split it. Of course, down into about 12 inch zips, you can have a big one, a medium, Which and a whittle. Which is what we're doing with the silver one anymore. So, yeah. Em, we sort of put, how much are my normals, how much are the normal zips on our website? A 25 centimeter dress zip. Yes. Is two dollars i believe right okay. which is actually very cheap for a i know zip. but it's the reckon it never no, don't take me there no. so two dollars so that's six dollars and then this and then you're getting more zip plus that's wider zip that's eight dollars even yeah because it's four so it's eight you dollars, get and then you get the zip. four the three pulls yeah we didn't think that through this morning when we <laughs> no we just worked that out anyway there you go. You can see it goes. Look, Whoa. so you can you can make it blend like that's a real blend, subtle thing. Or you can make, make it, it pop. stand out and pop. Yep. Just put it on plain black. If you are a machine embroiderer, oh, that's what I should do. I've got those silver heifer lumps just on black linen. If you're a machine embroiderer, you can get your metallic silver out. Got it all metal order oh, all metallic yes. silver for the website actually. The girls are chewing through it a bit. And you're gonna work with these yes. these today, aren't you? I am going to. Right. We done everything? Are you ready? I think so. Oh, these are, yes, because you're using these today too. You've got all this yep. happening. Yep, that's in the box. Alright, what's so, in the box? What's in the box? Well today? you can show the girls how well they work. So we've you remember this one? I think this one's special. It's a split personality, a bit like me. And the llamas are back. And they are llamas. They're not you, alpacas. Does this go? I left this up. Does this go? Uh, with the dark teal, maybe? Have you... There you go. Or with silver or gold, even. I don't know about that one. Not so convinced. She's not convinced. Yes. Yes. It depends how you access them. Of course, of course. We've got single zips still on, multiples of single zips as well. But they're the thin ones. Yes, dress zips, not bag zips. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, the gauge, uh, really, yeah. this, this makes the zip the feature, doesn't it? Ellie said, morning, good afternoon, I'm late. Karen, you are forgiven if you bought cake. I hope she brought cake. Hello, Jenny. Uh, good, the girls are happy. What are they saying? What are they saying? Oh, uh, Jenny Miller says she mucked up an order. That's all right, Jen. I mucked up the website this morning, so we're all good. It's it's fine. Oh, Mary Moore said her her um the blue floral. Her granddaughter would love that in a skirt. Which blue floral is that? This I one. Don't know. Maybe this. This or this or this or that. There's a few blues here. Yep. Petch. <laughs> Petch you. Can One word, think? wicked. <laughs> oh, well, I have we been are called, feeling a bit wicked. I have been called Spawn of Satan by a customer one time. Oh, one of my customers? Yeah, because I had too many good things Who offered. Who was that? Who oh, called remember. you Spawn of Satan? Uh, some girls have all the fun, Joan said. I'm going to make her coffee because we didn't get one. Oh, Jane Warren, you know who that is. Yes, I do. Good afternoon. Oh, we've got to go to that... Flora Park. We have a date at the Flora Park. Where's at the Flora Park? Lang Warren. More information, please. More information. I've got it. I all. know it's near where Jane is. You know where Jane is. We all know where Jane lives because <laughs> we sent her stuff. Does it have the clip to pull onto the zip? You don't need clips. Give me a, a no. A, don't need what we're doing today. No, I'm going to explain it. What we're doing today. Let me look like I know what I'm talking about. I don't. What we are doing today. No, Sharon. We because we're doing them as sewing. I understand what you mean. We are getting end clips that go on each end, and they will come in. And we would, if we do a bag or a kit with those, we would actually install them onto the zip before we sell them because there's a little bit of a knack and a hammer okay. to put them on. But you can always do your own fabric ends which make them then coordinate with your bag. 
That is true. You can do your little fabric tabs and, on the end. And fabric is a lot more friendly on the sewing machine than the metal end. Yeah, okay. If you hit one with a needle. I look like a numbnut because you're not in the shot. It looks like I'm talking to nobody. Um, talking to me. Michelle Fisher is late, but she's forgiven because she bought me fresh rhubarb. Okay. Rhubarb, rhubarb, rhubarb. Rhubarb, rhubarb. Flick likes the silver fabric on the left as you look at it. This up here is Quilter's Linen Flick. Em's going to play with that today. Right now, in fact, because that's a flat one. Oh, you're absolutely right, Fiona. It would it'd make a gorgeous flat. Oh, no, they're talking about this one, the blue fabric. Floral yes. Yes, 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 and yes. Absolutely. Why have I got that? Uh, yeah, oh, Sharon, yeah, Nat did have something to pull it on with, but Em's got it all covered. Don't worry about it. It's all good. To pull the, pull Not, the yeah, on. I knew that. I knew what she meant. Oh. Not your teeth. Oh, Petra's got caramel mud cake, but she's really sorry. She lives too far away. It's just rude, Petra. Oh, there's caramel slice <laughs> in my fridge, but that's for my, my not-quite-son-in-law, not for us. We don't need that those calories. <laughs> you had a not-quite-son-in-law. Oh, well, they're engaged. Got, well, I've got a not-quite-daughter-in-law then. Are they engaged? No. Oh, okay. No, they just live together <laughs> with a, with a, with their both names on a lead. Let me out. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. You're going to have to drive the switch. I'm there. going. What? Yeah, I know. But don't you want? Would you like me to show Sharon? You're a bit nervous, aren't you? Because I can, no, I'm around here with the switch. That's Whoa. okay. No, that doesn't work, does it? I gotta. <laughs> you talk. I'm right. okay. I got it. I don't know where I'm talking to. Am I talking to him? Yeah, because oh, because I didn't turn the screen around back towards you a bit, and then you can see your front on. There this is go. me. That's you. Okay. This is what's coming up next. Yes, if you wish, jellyfish. <sighs> And if okay. you want that shot, just push cut. See right. the cut button? Yep. All right. Okay, I might need to cut because I'm going to show you how to put the zipper on. The go. zipper pull on. <laughs> okay, so I did this before when I was sewing up one of these purses. And I accidentally did that. And I did go, oh, damn. But it wasn't a really swear jar dam. It was just a little mini. Oh, I'm going to have to put that back on. So... I'm laying down my zipper pull on the table and I'm leading in the teeth on one side and, and I'm still keeping lots of space open and the teeth on the other side and I'm leaning across the table so I'm less coordinated than I was this morning. In you go. Hold them together, give it a little push, hold both ends of the tab. So no tool required. No no fancy hold your mouth just so. The opening is really nice and big on the side. Just lead that zipper tape in on one side, hold it steady, push the zipper tape in on the other side, hold them together, give it a little nudge, and you can actually feel it start to grab. Oh, and I haven't aligned them very well this time. There you go. Yes, I've had a little bit of practice this morning. I think I might have put a dozen on because we've got a few. And when it comes to if you buy the two metre piece and you want to have two flowers, I loaded all three on one end for the purpose of seeing them together. And then Lisa said, but what if we have two? Then you can purchase, you've got two metres and you can do the kissing zips on one bag, for instance, we could have two zips coming, or two pulls coming from, each, or a pull coming from each end, meeting in the middle for a little kiss, and that's just the same process. Load one on one end, cut it to length, load net generously, I should say, because you don't want, you want to have a little bit extra inside. Now I'm going to do something really evil here and turn this outside and show you some, what we did because I have trimmed these later, but you, it's much easier to work with excess zip over the edge and have your zip sit nice and flat for you while you're actually sewing. And I'm doing this very carefully because there are five pins alive and waiting to bite. Just turn that back out. And when I've made you this little flat zippy purse here, I will then show you how we took the same process and made it a three-dimensional zippy purse. That's our little um, 
man bag or man man toiletries so if I come back to me over here oh, Lisa you'll have me starring my own show next I'm coming I'm making you coffee okay I think I've got too many clothes on okay so the width of my when when we do a, a swap in I'll just remove a layer the width of my this is my next little bag and it's going to be that little Christmas print it's silver on white on the outside and this is my lining which is the quilters linen in silver and we're going to make a trio of those because we're getting all environmentally friendly today and is that the right one yes that's the right one these are our reusable Christmas bags so with our one meter of zip I'm going to use a 50 centimeter zip a 30 centimeter zip and a 20 centimeter zip so you'll think it's sacrilege they are the P for paper scissors I'm cutting my 50 centimeter zip And look, there's no zipper pull on there, but fear not. I'll just zip one off here. Now, rather than pulling them apart with the zipper tape, which can mean that you pull the tape out of the teeth, pop it down on the table and just poke it on the end with your fingernail and the teeth will come apart. Now, if you've just had your nails done and you don't want to do it with your fingernails, you can use, I haven't got a biro, but you can use the end of a biro to do the same thing. Or you can, this doesn't actually have a point, this is conveniently past me a paper clip. And that will just push them open. So you do need a little bit of clearance to then go, okay, Emma showed me how to load my zipper. I'm going to pick up one first. Do it the opposite way because you saw it when I had it in my right hand before and feed the zipper teeth in the other side and give it a little come on bump bump there we go holding on both sides there's my zipper I have got a bump in there so I will actually reload that because they're not aligned as much as I would like. You've just got to, don't thread, actually I can show you that, don't thread the zipper on the first edge all the way to the bottom like that. Just hold it back here where the zipper is just coming to that neck. Am I in the right shot there, Liz? Yeah, I just, yeah, you're good. And then same on the other side, just on that neck, and then bump with your finger and you can feel it start to bite and then put it in see that's kind of hanging on if it wasn't if they weren't together that wouldn't stay on I mean if I swing it round different story hold it with my two fingers and look beautifully aligned nice and evenly so that is ready for me to use now if we were loading it with two pulls I'd load both pulls and I would go to the machine and I would either, you may wish to, just put a pin in the end, like this. Like a bit. That's it. Just a pin like that. So I can't accidentally zip it off. Or you may just like to take it to the machine and do just a row of stitching across the end there. It's nylon, so we can stitch through it with our machine. If you have metal zips, which we're not telling you, you will need to take the teeth out if you wanted to stitch across the zipper or you have to actually sew up to here, stop and come over to here on the other side. So, 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 that's not, that's my 50 centimetre zip, I'm going to do him last, I'm going to use the short one first. This little purse will end up being... Just like this. Would you like the little one to have the littlest pull lace, do you think? We use the star for I the think little so. one. Okay, zip 
cards up. So my bag is nine inches. I'd like ten inches of zip. And because we know how to load our own pulls, we can actually do really clever things like this isn't something we talked about this morning. Oh, right. We can take that off. Ooh. And our two metres of zip that we had, where's my gold? We can do funky things like that. Oh, bring it on. We did not talk about that this morning. We did not talk about that this morning. It just popped into my head, but we can. That's going to go with my elephants. We can load. Is there gold and silver? Oh my goodness. And load. Get out of town. And bump. And zip. Hello. There's, Sorry, there's a bit much going on the table there. Central, so we get a set of each. Yeah. And then Ooh. mix it up. Go for it. Wow. So will you be unhappy if I leave those bits in that bag for you to put together again? You'll you just swear at me later. Put you back in front. All right. Well, you can swear at me later, but I've had lobotomy. No, you can swear at me later. I have. I'll, I'll just, I've had the lobotomy. I'm all good. You've watched me bump it. I've, wa I've watched you bump it. Okay, the little bag is going to have the littlest pull, which is the little heart. Again, Ooh. how many times have we done this? You're going to master it. Feed it into the side, just down to where it starts to narrow. Feed it into the other side. Feed it, come on, eat it. There we go. I'm giving you a real close up, look at that. Oh, I can't look, I'm concentrating. Oh. Okay, so they're in. That's not gonna hold on yet. I'm gonna give it a bump. I can feel it's gripped it. See, it won't fall off. Yep. Put it down. Two fingers. Glad the manicure's still looking decent. Zip her up. All right, so seeing you're throwing things in that we didn't discuss this yeah, morning. Yeah, sorry, that was a curveball that just we, we touched into my head. We touched briefly this morning on um, top stitching instead because they're just so super gorgeous. Yes. So you could... Stitching them on the top of your... Stitch them on the top. Yep. In, in that case, I would actually do things like... Right sides together yeah onto the back of my zip with the zipper a little bit proud you can see that oh, yeah, I've, yeah, got, yeah. Can, I've just you got to get because it's so bit. sparkly yeah and then you and just... stitch with your zipper foot here yeah and then when you flip it out yeah you're gonna have that then you actually top stitch your zip down on there then that means you have no raw edge in here yeah nice yeah yeah so that'll be was, in the next installation of zips. So I was looking at this yes. because... And you want to see all the blue. Oh, I'm thinking about getting variegated embroidery thread that matches the zip and running it down each side. I mean, if we're going to, you know, if we're in that mood, yep. if we're in that if we're going, season yep, mood... Crazy, crazy. Why not go super crazy? Yeah. So for now, I'm just going to do the basics of... Insert zipper foot and tell machine I am. Jane says she was um she's supposed to be making Christmas decorations. Oh with zippers, that's no, clever. No, but she's too busy watching you. Okay. <laughs> Just keep sewing. Do you Just need to concentrate sewing. that much? Really? Alright, the girls Just put have put us got... on in the background. So because I didn't explain everyone to M where her cameras were, I've put you on that one so they can now uh, see they can yeah that. <laughs> that one? That one okay. you're on at the moment. I'm just, so you know, just I'll, I'll telling my right. machine, because it's a banana, not to stitch in the middle of the foot, otherwise we'll be breaking my needle. Do you know, you're going to need to put your dual feet on too, mate. Yes, I will. I've just had to tell And you might have to I'm tell on. it which foot you've got on. I did. Oh, okay. Or otherwise he won't let you do what you're doing. Well, he, before I swapped feet and he went, he really, no, what yeah. you got? He, he went, said, I don't he, think so. He said, he said, big red foot, what? Which, which foot? Tell me. And so I told him. Okay, so I have my... Sharon Keith said you're too smart, Emma. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. Okay, so when it comes to a zip being inserted, where am I? Like this one. So not top stitched on. You mean in Phil's Christmas present? 
like Phil's Christmas present and this is actually the trio of reusable environmentally friendly oh, I didn't iron that on very well gift bags oh right so explain what environmental gift bag is we're going to we can reuse it it's not a paper one it's not going to get worn out because we can reuse it over and over and over again I can give it to you this year and you can give it back to me next year there's a thought you to make it you make it something that's quite like these quite simplistic but I put my present inside. Yeah, but everyone can go through and stitch a little bit more on before they pass it on to the next <gasps> person. Like a row by row old oh. fashioned quilt thing. Oh, look out. I reckon Chris for the Kringle. next. What, what, how what? many weeks have we got? I believe it's seven. Yeah, I need 20. Six or, <laughs> six or seven weeks till Christmas. You 20. and I could just do one bag each and just whoosh, 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 every week. What do you reckon? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Jane says bling bling. Who said bling that? It oh, that's stunning. And then Jane says bling overload. Oh, Felicity, she's asking, are we getting black zips for a friend? Yeah. So with the ones, the ones that's that are for that kit. This kit here. I don't know no, which camera I'm on. No. What are we putting the black one with? With the no, the pa the bubble paisley. There, we've got the black going in We that. do have the black in there at the um, moment. Yeah, Felicity, we will be. We will have the black done as a set as well. The reason we didn't, wasn't it, Because we thought that that's more of a champagne gold, that zip, and we were worried it's that the others would go with it. But I think that pool... Is that pool you've got there pretty good? It's not bad, actually, because the centre... Is it because it, if I think what happens is when you put it, if you hold it up close to the camera for the girls. Which one am I on this one? This one. I think what happens is when we just put the zip pulls up against the zip tee, a side of fabric, it didn't quite look, look right. But They looked very dazzling. You, yeah, but when you actually have it with metallic fabric as well and you've got the overall look, you, they look perfectly fine now. Oh, they just keep stay. tying off. Um, so to answer that question, Felicity, um, yes, yes, watch this space. Yes, I will get that organised for you uh, pronto. Because why? Because I have the technology now to do it, albeit with All handwritten instructions. That's okay. Yeah, see, Petra says twin needle it. Ooh, how? Twin needle it for the top oh, stitching the top bit. stitching one would yes. work. Yes, Okay, so back to the Phil's um, bathroom necessities. Is that what it is? Bathroom. Oh, well, it could be even a pencil case for a bloke. Blokes still need to carry their pencils. So it's right sides together. Where am I? Yeah, this I'll one. put you back down there. Okay. Yeah. Right sides together with the right side, the outside of my zip. So don't be trying to do it upside down. I did do that before because I was doing too many at once. No flick, only black and gold for now. Sorry, I'm just answering a question. Hey, Karen's... So, Kathy's got to go and get the kids, and my advice to Kathy is pick up the grandkids. She's got to go early to get a car spot. I remember doing that. No, go late. Then there's no one there. Well, that's my other thing. But, no, I go, used to go early to get the boys, and oh, I take my paper stitch. piecing. Yeah, yeah, I've got all my paper piecing done. Okay. So, I have wrong side of zip to right side of lining, right side of zip to right side of zip. I'm going to zoom you. Did I say right side of zip to right side oh, of zip? Yeah. It was right side of zip to right side of the outer bag. You see and that? you can see that I've already applied just the thinnest 630 pallon to that. And I'm... Um, That's it. That way. you got to go in reverse. That was me smacking the printer. Well, you did try and smack some technology this morning. <laughs> did. Don't know that we've actually had any success yet. Now... Anyone who's ever put a zip in knows that it's a good idea to move the zipper pull out of the way while you're working and then when you get halfway, stop with your needle down, lift your foot up and zip it past. Now because we have because we have so many such beautiful zips, I'd like to come over to this camera now please, man. Oh man, there you go. Oh look, I'm sewing on one foot, so if I fall Do you want a stool? It's if, right there. If I fall out of shot, you'll know why. You've, um... So we want to actually stitch not right snug up against our zipper teeth. We'd like a little bit of zipper tape showing so that oh, sorry, girls. we can see these magnificent coloured zips. Ow, oh, that was a pin right up the cuticle. 
not cute so that we can see the magnificent zipper tape and our zips are then a feature now when I said stop needle in just so that you can see what I'm doing pull the zipper past the needle and if I had done like I did before and zipped right off I can just put it back on because we know how Now, I would normally take this and give it a good press with the iron, but it's getting a hand press today. And again, right side of zip to right side of fabric, wrong side of zip to right side of lining. So I'm now... Just, I'm going to get the stack. Did you just bump the camera? I bumped the camera. So now I've got these two loops with the sandwich, the zip sandwiched in between. The zipper. Uh, Mel, so Melanie just asked me a question. Yes. Um, Mel, I don't, we haven't got any more of that um, green and brown metallic fabric traditions fabric here, but from memory, it was very glittery gold metallic on it. Um, I would definitely go the metallic gold zip. I, th I think you would be fine with that. Other than that, you you know, it's going to be a bit rough trying to match up the teal. I know we don't have a teal in the birch dress zips, but um, then you probably want a chocolate brown, I guess. Do you remember those? We had There was a paisley and a floral. It might be... More information. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Sorry, I'll, working I'll blind here. I'll see if here. I've got some... Flory says she won't remember that. What's she not remembering? I don't know. She won't remember. She's got no Oh, maybe she's not remembering that we're putting the right side of the fabric well, to the right side of the zip and the, the wrong beauty... side of the zip. <laughs> you can pause me and go back. Yeah, the beauty of it is, Floria, um, Thank you. is that she's now immortalized on Facebook and YouTube. So it will be in the show um, Come on. Facebook live show section on the Lisa Chandler YouTube channel. Someone asked me the other day, I should have put that up for you before. Um, What's that? That camera up a bit. I don't know why you're doing it. I've made so many other faux pas errors today. What's it? What's you just rocking what's the an, tape What's now? another little bit of camera adjustment while we're at it? There we go. Um, someone said, why is it the Lisa Chandler YouTube channel and not Channels Cottage? And that was a fair question. And the reason was, was that we have a lot of stores here and overseas that refer their customers to... The yep. channel, and they don't, they don't know what no, channel the cottage is, yeah. and they don't know what the textile pantry is, but they know who I am from um, my name on the subject of the fabrics. And I'm just the sidekick. You're the sidekick. The so, um, <laughs> the extra entertainment. Yeah. I've stopped now to move my zipper pull. You can't see. Oh, can you? Can you see here? I'm moving my zipper pull. Yeah, they can. Here we go. Oh, look at that. But I'm, I'm also <laughs> making sure I don't zip it right off Do the you end. know I did it in the last makeup bag I made? I Zipped actually, it right off the end? Yeah, and I trimmed it off. No, I, I trimmed the ends of the zip with the pull on it. I'm just, oh, cut the pull yeah, off. Yeah, cut the pull yeah, off. Yeah, but now you know how to put it back on. Mm. On a dress zip? Well, yep, still... same, same. Okay. you just got to work a little bit smaller. Yeah. Yeah, Mel, I think, I'm pretty sure it is. Oh... Look, I grab some if you want to, and I will double. I will double check it. Oh, Linda hasn't read that. It hasn't been reading our newsletters. Don't tell me she went to the warehouse. No, she said hi. You open for visitors now. You can tell her the sad story. I'm oh. not there. <laughs> Where am I? I'm here. Yeah. Lisa is not open for visitors. She's reassessing, and we are online op only at the moment because we're not at the warehouse anymore. We're in the Lisa house, not the Wicked house. I thought you were going to use the clone story. Which the clone, clone story? machine story. Oh, the, cl the clone machine still does not work. Yeah, so we bought a clone machine. The story goes, we bought a clone machine. We got a brunette one. 
Yeah, and I made a brunette me, which is which is M, but you know, with all of the features that I fail in, like right hand side of the. Hang on, your left hand side of the. Camera two, please. Sure. No. <laughs> Thank oh, you. There you go. Put the front. There you go. Sorry, can I finish? Linda, yes, yeah, so Linda, sorry, no, we're not open at the moment. Um, we decided not to open this year. We've got quite a few quite a few challenges and, and, and readjustments and lifestyle stuff. I'll put you back on. Oh, right oh can I just have a glass of... Yeah, you, you have a glass of water. They don't need to see... Water, oh, coffee. coffee. So we decided not to um, because we just couldn't commit to being there. And, you know, it's a whole staff thing too and it's a... You know, there's a lot of stuff on. Lise couldn't. Lisa's laying low, isn't she? Because she's M's doing BCE exams. Yeah, uh, M's only with me a couple of days a week, and her other jobs at a school. So it's sort of we just couldn't do it, and I needed to get a lot of design work done for next year. So um, we started our new Whizbang website, and we were very Which lucky to have beautiful. Steve to do that for us. And next year, we're not quite sure. We're not reopening in the warehouse, though. I should tell you that up front. It's not suitable for COVID. It's we can only have one. Or, we have two yeah, people at a time. Yeah, because you're a small space. Yeah, and it's okay. zoned differently because it's anyway. Right. right. Okay. So coming to a warehouse pop-up shop. Nature well, strip. Not a warehouse. A nature strip. <laughs> Car park near you or town hall. Oh, Margaret's found us a couple of little okay. town halls. Yeah, go on. Now, here's a we've made a tube with a zipper in it. This is my exciting bit here. I love this bit. Yeah. Okay. Now here is where we're going to show you how to go differently. Yes. You can, you can go not just both ways, but there are so many ways to go. Now, for the trio set, we decided, the Christmas trio, we decided that we would make three flat purses. So at this point, I would just stitch down the sides. Mm-hmm. And because we like them to be all bound and everything, but we've made them fast and mean today. So we would put binding on later mm -hmm. and just over the edge and machine bind a stitch, top stitch down for the other mm -hmm. side. So that's your binding and that's your flat. And so with that though, you just got to remember to leave your zip open halfway so you can turn it through. Always leave your zip open yeah. once you're at this point. Otherwise you get stuck so and there is gonna, no turning. You're just going to sew down each of those sides. Sew down each side. So could you do that with an overlocker? You could do that with an overlocker. Personally, I would stitch it on my machine first yeah. and then come back and overlock the edge. Okay. So, so, pardon the pun. So that that's our flat. And then we would turn it out. And for argument's sake, we will just so that you can see. That is what our little Ooh. flat Christmas gift bag would look like. Right. So we're doing this as a set, aren't we? We're actually going right. to do this with the pattern. But can we some can we That's in the pattern two. as well? So they're going to nest inside each other. They can. All right. So should we just say to the girls as well that if they wanted to, they'll have enough fabric. If they wanted to, instead of just using rolling. one piece. Uh, for the outside and one for the inside. They, they could, could do chop like, it in wait, half. Wait, wait. Oh, we're but doing here's, that. There's, there's, here's one I prepared earlier. So they could chop it and have one colour on one side and one on the other. Yeah. So this is our long and narrow one. I haven't pieced the lining yet, but you can see that I have pieced it on the bottom. Then I've put the pallet on. So that becomes my one piece of fabric that I will put my long zip into <laughs> Petra's on fire today sorry yeah so that's my long wow. zip one wow 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 that's my next so size so we've got enough zip to do that that's the one my next time. size I have actually just discovered that I've cut this one too oops long. yeah but which I'll one, just, on which one's too I'll long? just make I'll just make him the same width so but not all as right long. so in our heads we're going I'll put you on front um, so in my head, we're going, okay, we went 20, 30, sorry, 50, see, we speak inches and centimetres, a 20 inch zip, mm. a 12 inch zip. Yeah, and no, we did, we did go the other way. Um, an 18 inch zip is what it should be. An 18 inch zip 
a 12 inch zip and an 8 inch zip yeah, and, that and all that gets in, in 12, inch 40 inches, inches of so zip. So my brain just goes, yeah, three purses that are 12 inches, but you don't have to. You can do no. a different size ones. That's right. And Or in, oh, if we speak no, metric, 50 centimetres, 30 centimetres, 20 centimetres. Yes. Yeah. And you've got a little bit left And you over. can do that in your head really easy. I can't add up yeah. inch, Just hold those up so the girl, just hold them up to the front camera so the girls can see. So, what a beautiful yeah, well, gift to put. Let me unzip him so you can see. How drop dead gorgeous to hand them to someone under Whoops. the tree and say, I expect these back next, next year. year. Sharon Keyes is watching, so when you hold that up, that is <gasps> the family lint chocolate box in the big one. <laughs> Jazz, that's, a, that's the family lint chocolate box at the bottom. Um, that's the limited edition assortment. And then you know how you get the little bags? <gasps> yes. That fits in that one. Okay. That, actually, that's your mum. She's... <laughs> what was happening at that at dinner? Your mum and mine, Pam and Colleen... Oh, my Lord. I have a photo of that. ...got stuck into the lint balls. We had... And your mum's the expert. Oh, yeah. She's... You know, you know the favourites ad where Gran goes and stashes and yeah, yeah, slips yeah. them into her pocket? Well, she's actually... The decoy is the one that's going into the mouth and then the two go in the pocket for later. <laughs> My mum and Lindor Balls. That's her. She's a shocker and she's like the size of a mouse. Yeah. Okay, so we've got the concept of the flat zip. Now we're going to, which, which is basically this, but in order to have the, what, the turn down. Turn down service is what you have in your hotel, isn't it? Or your, I don't on your remember. cruise ship. I don't remember. Where well, your bed gets turned down for you and they arrange your towel Put like a swan and your started, pajamas in I've a... I've started the stash so that I'll be looking for the turn down on the plane. <laughs> right. I just Holy don't know. I don't know about you, but I don't know if you're a traveller. If I used to suck it up and do economy. I was quite, you know, I remembered all the But we didn't and, travel for two years. No, but I used to do that long haul to LA and yep. I could suck it up. I was quite proud I could survive economy for that long on the plane. No, not anymore. Not anymore. No. I don't think I could do it anymore. You only live once. So I'm not worried about the price of the ticket. It's the upgrade budget that lives ah, in that riding desk yep. near the front door. Shh, shh, don't tell anyone where it is. I've got to go past that door on my way out. <laughs> There's not a lot in there yet. I think okay. it's... Um, so we're here. Now this is a flat again, but I'm just showing you that... When we had it, I'll turn it inside out so the concept is the same. When we were at this stage where it's a loop, instead of having it up the top, with having the zipper up the top, mm. basically I turned it down the width of the zipper. So there's just that little return just there. Can you see that? That's the top mm. of the zipper. So that was our turn down. You do have to give it a little massage to put everything in place. And when you're stitching on this side, on this edge, which is the open end of the zip, did you just take that away? Sorry. You just stitch to here and then make sure that your zipper teeth are butted up against each other and stitch right the way along. Now, when we did that, we also made the little wristlet carrying strap, one of Lisa's standard four thickness folds. We'll learn some maths today. Now I'm a maths whiz, but I said to Lisa, how wide would you like your wrist strap? Would you like it to be one inch finished or three quarters of an inch finished? In my head, I know that I need four inches wide for one inch finished. Well, how sensible is it? Three out of the four, she wanted three quarter inch, so I did three inches cut, turn the sides in, top stitch each edge, and there's my wristless strap that I put under the zip, right there, and as I stitch that edge down, and it's easier to stitch down the open edge first, so position everything, stitch, and you can see we haven't bound the edges today, so that you can actually see what we have done. There's our wristlet strap, Turn it out. And Megan, you get your chopstick out of your hair and turn those corners <laughs> out beautifully. That wasn't me, that was Amanda. I know it was Amanda, but she would understand. So 
you've got something to hang on to when you're zipping open your bag. So that is the same concept, just upsized from this little guy. Then this one, in order to have him stand up tall, take the zip. Now the easiest way is actually to fold him in half there at that point and mark with a pin the halfway point. And same on the other side, so I'm bringing the zipper teeth together to mark my halfway point. That, that way. Hey, that overhead camera stop flipping. Shh, shh, don't moz it. Hey, you know how I was going to run away and take off the layer? You didn't do oh, it. Do you want to go now and do it? No, that's alright. Okay, so I'm taking the zipper teeth and aligning it with where I've marked the centre. And then I'm going to pin that in place. And again on the opposite end, zipper teeth aligned with the centre. Okay. I'm going to just move my, sneak my pins to here. And in this instance, because we've got two independent pieces, we'd like a pin on each side. And then we would stitch across there each of those ends. Leave your zip open so you can turn through. So that, let's try and not impale ourselves on any pins, is what happened here. There is our side where we stitch down the sides and then we just box out. So Wow, now I understand. So then you're just boxing out, and in our little patterns that we write for you, we'll tell you how far we've come down, that this gives you the vertical height of your bag. And the little zippity doodahs. Would you like me to keep sewing, please? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so can you talk for a minute? What have you got to talk <laughs> about? Or would you like to sew a zip? Oh, that was a bolt that I just got hit hey, by. You just got hit by a flipping bolt. All right, if I put that back on, can we put it back on camera one? Because, thanks, I would have walked smack in front of the camera. All right, you come out, I'll go. Sorry, your shoes. She's got squeaky shoes. Um, behind every. So, oh, I haven't told a Petra what you said. That that's really funny. Fiona's got, Fiona, you're so good to that man. You're so good to him that you're going to go and make him sandwiches. All right. Now, the, sorry, Em's gone. She's gone to take a layer off. I have learnt thin cotton. Um, but it was chilly. It, it was actually chilly this morning. It's that time of year, isn't it? With, with the whole zip thing, the other one, thing that I just wanted to mention, if you, if you have grabbed the pattern, the digital download, for our new swing satchel, then you can sort of add the whole zip thing now in to your thoughts about making this bag. I've got more bag furniture coming for um, making swing satchels where you're just going to get the toggle and the D-ring that go on here so that you can make your own straps. So that's sort of where I'm heading with these two and I'm going to put these with the gold zip just in a, in a kit for the satchel so you know I've got all that going on in the background but if you did like this bag you've got another thing now that you can pick up to make them extra special so with I'm just saying with um, the metallic gold zip and as the flick said can we whip up the the black and gold zip as a set as well and yep. I will do that because we didn't this morning we just had so much going on thinking we about sure it we, were at. we weren't sure where we were at but we will do that for you I'll get I'll probably do that in the next, straight after the show. We'll work out which pools we can put in. It's a logistical nightmare working out how much meterage you've got, which pools you've got, and working out to make sure that you've got enough for the kit uh, to put together. So you can't put the pools on while you're standing up. <laughs> that is the thing, Em. No, you can't put the pools on. So don't. So please remember, if you want to put your own little designer jigsaw puzzle together, for want of a better word, we've got the shoulder straps. Remember in the in the red with gold and the black with gold so you'd be able to mix and match them up now I would definitely put the metallic red 
for a really decadent bag with um, this this sorry what am I trying to say the metallic gold yes. I would put with this red I did do it standing up um, there's red fabric out there I'll go and get some so you could put metallic gold zip metallic gold zips <laughs> with these but then you could also put the gold see look 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 see yes yeah that would work too so we've got black and gold that you'll be able to put with the black zip set or the metallic gold zip set I'll go and find one while you're you're right now love <sighs> yeah I'm stripped ah oh, underneath don't worry you, you'll be fine <laughs> Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Just make sure the facing's tucked in on my dress. Okay, so rather than... Oh, the phone! That wasn't part of the plan. Can you pass me the phone? It wasn't part of the plan. Good afternoon, Channel 5. So you know how... You know. You understand, ladies, how the flat purse works. Is everything okay? And oh, that's fantastic. Oh, I will really just nice. flick the door so that you don't have to listen right. to that conversation. <laughs> so that's going to go on there, and we will stitch that. Aligning, where am I? I'm here. Aligning my other end. That's going on there. Now, I didn't show you this next bit. Change feet. Sorry, can I show the girls? Look, 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 look. Where's the gold? No. Well, just to prove a point. I sorry, you know me. I have to prove a point. Yes. <gasps> oh! Well, hello! Hang on. Go that way. Ooh. That's very nice. See, that's just a whole other world of bling. We tried to use that a few weeks ago, didn't we? Or did we use it? Purse. Oh, it was in a charm purse. We did, purse. because you get different yes. bits in different spots. Um, can you... Sorry. I did put the Fairy Frost Amber on special too and I tagged it so it's down to $18. I did promise the Villa deal on the Amber Fairy Frost today. Okay. I want to make this now. Okay. I love that I can change my feet on a banana so quickly and with the jewel feet on this one. I, I'm not trying to lasso the what you doing? needle shaft. I'm sewing down the side. Okay. And I've worked out that with a 20D foot, it's almost, it's so close to a quarter inch. And because it's going to feel a bit of tension as you pull against it, come on, I think it's a good idea to reverse stitch as we go over the zipper tape where it meets the fabric. Because your little bag because this is our re reusable, not recyclable, reusable Christmas purse, it's going to be opened and shut and opened and shut and opened and shut for many years to come as Lisa gives it back to me and I give it back to her next year and then reverse stitch at the end. So I, what I did just then was come over here just at this point here, I stitched down with a reverse start and then when I came over this ridge that is where the zipper tape and the fabric meet, that's going to see quite a bit of strain on it. Well, not strain, but it's going to see repetitive activity against it. So I just reverse stitched over that. And now I'm going to zip down, oh, didn't mean that one, the other side. What's for morning tea? Morning tea. Oh Lord, what planet am I on? What time zone am I in? What's for what? Morning tea. You just changed you the scent. morning tea. You came out chomping. I just I'm in the it. wrong time zone. Afternoon tea. Yeah, that too. Oh, and you know how I just... Oh, see, I am having brain fade. I just told the ladies that it's a good idea. Mm -hmm to reverse stitch over this bit and then promptly didn't do it. So I'm just going to go back and re-stitch it. Just to reinforce it. I was going to talk gossip. What's the goss? Well, in, should I tell the girls about what happened? With be mindful or not? <laughs> no. No? No. Okay. No, that's not fair. 
Oh well, yes, you can you can tell them that the wrong thing arrived. Oh yeah, I was just yeah. going to tell them. No, yeah, I was just going to tell them. I didn't know what you were going to tell. Well, them. I told them that we were sending out the club. We're yesterday. trimming. We're trimming the excess zip off the sides, and we left our zipper open. And when we make these for real, not for fast, for we real. would bind yeah. that raw edge. Yes, we would. We know how to make them so that it's stitch right around and right around with the zipper in the middle but this is to show you how to use the tube process to make different shapes turn that baby mm. out and then then on top of that we've already got the the pattern for the makeup bags already as a digital download on the, on the website. So there's our first little, and Lisa's going to embellish that next year when she gives it back to me with something in it. Oh, there's crystals from my Venina crystal machine. <laughs> oh, get the bejeweler out. Can we trade places? So that, that's on the website. Yes, and that's the one we're going to redo with... With the gold. The gold and the, and the black, black vinyl. Yes. And the little funky red tassel, because that was a beautiful thing. Yes. That's what I'm after. Now we're going to take this concept again, or tube concept again, and show you a different shape. Which shape now? This is oh. the, the, the zippity doodah, so that you can put pencils in it or makeup in it. Because of the funky nature of this fabric. I love that fabric. This, yeah. this is our outer bag. This is our lining. Right, so hold, just do the hold up, just so the girls can see, so they can choose. That if works on that. Yep. Or that. Or, but it works on this because every now and then you, you get a here, pop of blue. You get a little pop of blue. So this is a eleven inch. Well. No, it's a ten inch square. Oh, these people are talking to you under my hand. <laughs> are they? Yep. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, so Jenny Peach. Um, oh, hello, Jenny. Yeah, Jen was saying, uh, Jen was just saying well, she's a, a cool life member. Mm -hmm. That um, she had a first try. Her granddaughter, Eliza, had her first try at sewing with a two night sleepover. That's Ooh. Tries to do the two three nighters in the end. Um, and in her AQL membership, she pulled out the shoulder book bag. Yes. Yes. Um, with the with the waddle design that you did oh 100 years me. ago yeah 100 years not that long ago oh, it feels, feels like, like it, it. Uh, and then a pencil case which she adapted from the makeup purse brilliant and that's that's this because is all you, just adaptation from because the, the makeup process. purse is only it's not that it's wide little. but you just make it longer yeah or shorter as the case may be do you need do you to need fit a, your do you need a close-up for that Oh, we would like to show the ladies again, would we, how to put the end on? Just keep showing because then I'll finally pay attention and get it myself. You'll pay attention one time. Just the one time. Just the one time. No, no, it's it's fine. But can I ask then, because I've done it I've done it a couple of times. Well, you do it in the makeup bag, so you make your little tabs for the end. Yes. And you really, all you have to do is if have Sorry, a strip in Sorry, it's a bit hard. I'm getting my hand in you, the way. Um, fold in the short ends of a tab yes and then you fold it in half bump twice you know like yes. making a shoulder strap don't you so you're just making a little tab tab oh the heart's really cute i can do it almost now i'll be doing that in my sleep tonight you know that yeah so you could offer same that process. service like gift wrapping at christmas <laughs> would you like your zipper pulls on <laughs> your tab don't say that no. because they'll all say yes and then they, I'll be You don't leaving. need it, girls. You don't need no. it. You, you have the power. So, this is my outer bag. Right side. No, no. Try that. Right side of fabric to right side of zipper. Wrong side of zipper to right side of lining. And Jane's going to loop us, not that Jane, the other one. She's going to loop. She's going to do a loop. She's going to. So a lot of girls that get in late, they do a loop. So they watch oh, they us from st now. Start now and go back around to the beginning. Too late, you yeah. got to go around the horn, that kind of thing. Yeah, so they so they hop on board now and then they get off the merry-go-round and then they hop back on at the start. Okay. I'm glad Jane says she loves the red scrumptiousness. Jane, you've been watching too much Natasha makes using scrumptiousness. Scrum diddly umptious. 
the mission. Oh, no, no, it's no, it's it's fine, Petra. It, we don't leave the machine like this. It's only for the show. She's worried about your back. And she's worried about Oh, it, it doesn't she's upset said, my back. It's just, just that I've got the balance. Raise the machine, sit it on a box at least three inches. It's fine. It's, yeah, it's I only been today. Sitting and, in the, the um, and we, office. we can't, should I just explain to Petra? We actually can't raise this because then the cameras well, everything we else can't go raise. that high. But we do. But that's that's actually a comfortable right today. Right. I'll, can can we do yeah. a little swap in? I, I had it low for a few. I had it low when I was doing. Uh, we have okay. it down when we do the. You go up the other end and talk to the ladies. Talk to the ladies. Oh, zipper foot. Love that about the banana. You can just pop it off. Come Aren't you popping off? I'm popping on the, the zipper foot. Do I have to make the other two? Oh, I have a zipper foot at my house. I can make them for you. And I'm telling it that I have my 4D zipper foot. You, you know what I think about as well because I've got them. With this oh, you've sort got of all thing. sorts of embellishy goodness. I've got all of that. Um, all of those uh, silk brocade ribbons. So I'm just thinking you have plain, just plain black linen or or plain black and then top stitch and them all And there's nothing on. to say that you can't oh, that piece way. scraps. <gasps> Where's the banking bag? It's over there. Oh, that's a prime example okay, of you can piece bag. anything together. So now they know where the banking bag is. And, the <laughs> and where the stash cash. of cash Something is. Something in the banking bag. Because there's no cash No, anymore. it's a cashless society. It's a cashless society. But, so they would go this way. But what did we work out? We said this morning, girls have to be careful if they want to use a stripe. You, yes, you have you, to think about you've how You've got to think it about it going round that way or going round that way. Just when you, when you, when you cut, cut it. it out. Because Hampton Stripe... And under the Australian sunstripe, which I think would look nice. I'm going to make oh. presents for the for Mr. for Mr. Onijima and the guys in Osaka at the You factory. just want to go nuts with zips, don't you? Come I on. I usually buy them like botanical limited edition bits. So this is the fabric agent team, whole company in LA that I work with, and then there is an art studio company in Osaka, and they and in a building next to. The factory that actually prints my fabric, so it's like another chain. There's another three. link in the chain. There's another link in the chain. So there's three. So, so Mr. Ojima, he usually meets up with us in Houston or wherever we are, and when we do face-to-face -face meetings, and he's in the zooms and all that stuff. I usually send him a limited edition print from the Botanic Gardens gift shop, mm -hmm. but I think this year I might make him something. Because you can. Because I can. Moving my zipper. Did you told you about the Zoom meeting the other day, didn't I? No. When we were doing um, the stuff for the new ranges next year. The That's going to be so much easier to do by Zoom now but the rather than by phone. Yeah, purposely sat themselves in front of a blank wall so they could say, note the blank wall that needs a quilt. Oh. <laughs> do they want something? Mm. When you use the zipper foot, does that thing at the back of the needle act as a walking foot? Felicity Bonner, welcome to the world of oh, sorry. Benina I and didn't Jewel lower it Feet. That time. Oh, you didn't lower it. Benina Jewel Feet. So, because we've got extra wide feet dogs on this machine, and also so some of the machines. Can we have, a, can we have a close up on here? A nine Number mil. Three. Mm, you got to go over. The... Yeah, you got to push the buttons because you're over there. Oh yeah. There you go. So. Here is the width of our feed dogs, and in about oh, an eighth of an inch on each side is the width of the actual sole yeah. of the foot. So at the so back of the jewel feed clicks in. He just oh, that's, that back. was bad because my hand's in the way. Let's do and then you again. engage the third set of feed this dogs. Guy here comes down, and then he engages under here with the, the centre feed dog. And so it just holds it all in place a lot better flick. That's what it's for. And here's where I'm doing my little ironing by hand. Shh. It's not a walking foot. Though, it's flick. not. No. It's just. I lectured them all the other day on that. It's. It's not. It. It helps secure everything and pull it through, but only from underneath, not from the top. So you. It will help you pull things through really nicely if you've got extra wide feed dogs. But it's not doing the catch, grab and release that a walking foot does to keep all of your 
your layers. That, that bit. Which will which all thing going on? Crocodiles. <laughs> Sorry. We've really lost it. Okay. So what Felicity so everyone doesn't know who Flick is. Can I can I just do the right side of fabric to right side of zip, wrong side of zip to right side of line. Do you need to and do that pin. close up here? You think you should. Go. Right side of fabric to right side of zip, wrong side of zip to right side of lining. So now I've got those two loops again. Gotcha. And I'm pinning. Okay, tell everyone who Felicity well, is. Or Felicity, Fel Felicity is uh, a good mate and organised a lot of workshops that we did down in Tasmania, but she's an amazing quilt designer. We met her through St. Helens, been, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah, but quilt, she's been in quilters. No, Deloraine. Deloraine, beg your pardon. Deloraine Cryfair, which has yes. just been, and Flick had her stand with all her beautiful stuff there. But um, Flick organised for me to go down and teach, but she's amazing quilt designer. She had a feature in... Um, Quilter's companion and and she's the <gasps> she's the maker of quilt. She's the chandelier quilt and the owl and the and the Tasmanian famous owls? and the famous yes and the famous Melbourne umbrella which lives <gasps> in my studio. Yes. Uh, but what the other thing that Flick's been doing for me, which is I don't know if she realizes that's what she's doing. She sends me things, and she's been sending me some beautiful uh, Tasmanian um, bespoke. Would be I don't know which we gourmet food trail ingredients. Ooh. They're all in Tassie, and being married to a Taswegian, I sort of resonate a lot with where they're from and everything. So, I'm working through those at the moment. Flick keeps sending me amazing things. Yeah. That and Rob setting up our permit to sell food. Oh, that's very exciting. Only as a sideline for a quarter's life, but so there's salt and natural um, Tasmanian pepper berry. So it's pepper and salt blend. Oh, but clever. It's, Organic dried garlic and all these yeah. amazing things. Would would we be able to um blend our own bush spices? Our own what? Bush spices. Yeah, sure, we can do that. And because we um, can't get it anymore. No, we can't. Oh, now, now what? can we switch to this camera again? Sure. Sorry, I forgot. We're making bags. Yes. So this camera, this is a little one. This is only a ten inch square. So my hand just sneaks in. Fingers. Here they are. To move the zipper pull. Can we use my forceps? Well, I don't want to. It, it's not a problem. I mean, yes, I do have little fingers, but I don't have little hands. Mm. And I don't want to push my zipper pull all the way to the end. So I'm pushing my, putting my fingers here. And, oh, my zipper pull is just back. You can't quite see him. But it's just back there. But it's out of the way of stitching for the remainder of the length of my zip. Okay, you can switch back cameras again. Can I? Yes. To what? You and me, if you like. I don't know. Got your lippy on? A bit late now. <laughs> Sorry. Did you see what's out in the? Did you see what's out in the other storage room? Can you? Did you smell it? No, you wouldn't be able to smell it. So we're making. I'm making. Not the pomanders. No. No. Oh, what are making? Um. Um. So I'm going to. Do for the girls my uh, Christmas spiced pot puree. Yeah. So I've sourced. Oh, you had some mega cloves and star anise and cinnamon sticks and two loops, two loops, two loops. Can you go? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I was going to ask you a stupid question. Why? Ask. No. But no. Why? Ask it because one of the ladies might be thinking it. Why can't I? It's too late to switch either way. There is a right and a wrong because when you stand there and now you sort of go, I could go either way. You but could, you but the zipper the would be. Zip that's why we keep question. saying right side of zip, right side of fabric. Ah, oh, Karen DeWilt's brother lives in um, Bingalong Bay near St Helens. I thought that said Bryogalong from here. I was right, Karen, if you want anything taken down, I'll be going down. What I like about. I'll be saying that in my sleep. Thank you, Emma, sewing my makeup bag while watching with the tips. Excellent. Um. Going to say it's gone now. Taking something down, too. Oh, yeah, Karen, you've got me to take something down for your brother. I'll be going down. When are you going down? Oh, I'll be going down. Okay. Just, just uh, there'll, so be what, nice. what there'll be a little bit of Felicity Envy, oh. St. Helen's Envy, because the boys 
your boys. Doing the bro road trip. Oh, oh, as in Rob and and Mr. Felicity the policeman. No. No, 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 your no, bros. no, no, my boys, Phil and Steve are doing a road trip. need shoes on today, I feel overly giant. I don't know shoes on. Shh, Lisa's got bare feet. I'm not allowed to drop any pins. Okay, so last time we... That's so pretty, just, can we just, cute. can we just spend a minute? Sorry, can we just... How pretty is that? That's, that's pretty cute. A question? Yes. Person. So if we wanted to now, completely irrelevant. Yeah, go, go, go left field. Why not? I put two different colour zips together. Could we have a stand-up one where we just box the bottom? Next week. Okay. And, and it'll come up to a curve at the top, yeah? That I goes, don't know. And then you can... Oh, actually, I need to do the lobotomy on that. That's actually one piece of zipper tape okay, with I'll one pull and it comes into a loop. All right, we've been, all right. But I need, to, I need to do some brain exercise to do that. So we have our tube again. This time we're not going to go that way. We're going to go, I have to really think myself. We're going that way because we'll, yep, yeah, yeah, it's all right, don't mind me, just have to think about it. But we'll write it in the pattern. I'm just making it up as I go along. we have got 15 minutes. What to make it up? No, the girls got 15 minutes. Oh, they've got 15 minutes. We've to... got 15 minutes, it's quarter to four. Time flies, Em. The magical world of Facebook. It eats up time. Well, that's why I gave it up. I told you that. It's a time thief. Alright. See, oh, I would have put the blue nice. on the outside. That's the that's unconformist. This time, but, but that's the beauty of this fabric because, look, here's the other piece that I have ready to make the second one using some of the balance of my zip and look at all these deliciousness oh, yes these these are not up yet um i had to get the split rings for them so now i've got them i will pop these up tomorrow this is sort of like remember i talk about getting your chewy at the checkout so these are one another one of those little things that you'll be able to add in when you go to the checkout that will go beautifully with your with your ombre zip and look at this fabric so I've just got to get these. I'm not going to take long. They will be up tomorrow. With I'll do the black and gold zip. And these need adding on to the clip key rings that we usually have them on, and then they will be ready. And they'll sell in pairs, in the in the. You know what I mean. In the pack. I kind of like doing a pair because you can pop one on the purse, and then you just give one as a key ring. As well, to someone. So you have one clipped onto the purse and one to put your keys on. Cute. Like, so Sorry, it was, for, it was, was focused in a different way. If it was for a little girl, there. you'd have your pencil case with one on here, and then she'd have in here her locker key. Oh my god, remember having a locker? Yeah. Yeah, Matilda's padlocks on the back of it. I'm I'm actually going to go the same way because I can't I can't make it in my head how I made it yesterday at home. This was a freak of nature, ladies. I have actually been playing with this concept of purse no. at home totally unbeknownst to me that Lisa wanted me to play with zips here today it's like we've got this little oh channel. Jenny's going to Tasmania so everybody that Send needs something taken to Tasmania <laughs> she's going to Carrick on the 16th of December if you need nice taken. that we can go I'm going to Queensland on the 10th of December no what? 10th of January oh Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, not December. We're still at school then. Don't, don't panic. Holy jolly. That's after I have my birthday on the 9th of December. Got that? Got your diary out? Sorry, what date's your birthday? 9th of January. Did I just say December again? 9th sure. of January. This is your birthday you have when you couldn't have a birthday this, this year? This is my, I will be 50 and I, I will still be 50. I need to put that in my diary. You do. Oh, thank you to um, one of my birthday. That's a, a birthday present that I'm wearing today. If you want to get in Em's good book, she give us something with bees on it. Oh, look. These were cheapies that I bought. They're just fun. Are you right there? Yep. So we're going across, straight across first. Yep. And then we're just boxing out square as opposed to tall. All right. I think I think once you get the whole concept of putting the zip in, you're off and running. I make that tube. Yeah, the tube, but also 
um, there's no reason why we can't do round ones now. There's no reason why we can't do bags that curve at the top. Well, if you put a curve on it, put a put a zip in and put the piece. So that, use, that use that could that be a piece. curve. That doesn't have to be straight. No, that's right. But you could also, around. if it's the third dimension, think your cherry blossom mm -hmm. bag mm. where you've got one face, one face, and the outside edge. They're three pieces. So just make up that third piece with a zip in it and then treat it like one piece of fabric. Do you know where else I want to put a zip? Here? <laughs> no, no, it just came out that way. Um, when we make our book cover, so we put, you know, we put the, the book covers of pattern on Quilt Slide. Yes. When we make the book cover um, and you make the sleeve first that does the yes. fun turnaround bit, yep. the bit that comes over that you the bit that comes over and folds over the inside the, of your board. The sleeves, yep. I want to zip there because then I can turn it into a little pocket on the inside of my book cover to put my pen in. What? Get out of there. That'll work. Oh, oh now I want to get just let me finish this so I can have a go at that. Oh. I hate when you do that to me. It's cruelty. You said what way? Jen's taking the vehicle. We've got plenty of room to chuck oh, stuff in. Felicity, if you want that new banana. <laughs> Luke wanted a banana. So we can get your banana oh, into Jenny's car. We and, just, and need, to, Jen can bring we just need to get them here on the boat from, from when they come, not, not oh, on the boat to Tasmania. Jesus. Yeah. There's that. Come on. I think I think everyone knows it's an in-joke at the moment that there's there's no there's no rush to tell Benina that I don't have a bricks and mortar store, which is section three point two of my Benina dealership contract. Okay. Well, I'm standing because inside no bricks Benina's. and mortar. We didn't we weren't just open, different. so it didn't matter. And now there's no machines. I'm so glad that I bought mine before my birthday. I like the way that we do machines at the moment. I like. Well, you get the full personal service now, don't I you? I like going in and demonstrating machines for people, and then I. Don't right, leave the pin in when you're about to chop the installing zip. Installing it in their house, like you install curtains, or install or carpet, or, or a front door, or a thermo mix. It's exactly. Oh, the do same. you get a demo in your house when you buy a thermi? Yep. And then you do. Does Mr. Classes. Rob come and make um, lemon butter in your house too? None of you buying a banana. <laughs> or, or do you just send lemons and they magic and jars and they magically come back? I haven't found my... Okay, now let me sh please show the ladies. Would sure. you like to swap me out or you out? No, I'm good. Because we'll have to wrap up in a minute. I'll just show the ladies how to do this corner. All right, you're on. Okay. Now, I did square this out and clever markings on our board. I have kept... Oh, extra tip. Snip off this little corner... These are the paper scissors, as you can tell. <laughs> yep. Because it helps you to really open this right up. There's our right sides. And use this marking on our board to position our line. So we have a nice one continuous line down here. We've got our right angles, no, it's not perpendicular. They're adjacent. And I had a chalk pencil. Did not. Did too, because I was not. turning out a point with it. And before we did a, a deep mark for that long, where are we? For this long seam here to make it tall. We're trying to make it a little more square this time, so it would be this way a bit more. And you can't, sorry, I've got my hand in the way. I'm marking an inch in. I'm just going to mark it a little bit more so that you might be able to see it. And I'm just going to stitch. If I want everything to stay in place, I would pop a pin in. I do, but I'm going to hold it for the purpose of doing it quickly for you ladies. And again, reversing start and finish because I'm going over that little corner.
one more. And don't try and pin them and mark them all at one time. Do one at a time. You're over there. Can I do that? There. Sure. Pretty please. Snipping. Am I here? Yeah. And again, I'm marking. Can I go to the on the board again? Oh, I must be tired. <laughs> My thumb has got a twitch in it. I'll make you a coffee. Three a coffee? A four oh, a coffee? I think I'll need a four a coffee. A few extra hits of sugar. I've got some strawberries in my bag. <gasps> I've got lemon butter in the fridge. <gasps> Don't say <laughs> that. So tell the girls we now bribe our Australia, our local Australia post office manager. I did hear manager. you giving the, yeah, so the Australia he, postman he, banana cake and lemon butter. Yeah, lemon butter and, and Greek yogurt on the way to work because... Because Steve's away and we had the show today, we couldn't make oh, the four o'clock deadline to drop off the mail. At once. Um, and he drives past on his way to work. So again, ladies, I have marked there. I'm coming over to the machine. I am reversing, starting and finishing. Beep, 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 beep. That doesn't make that noise. No, thankfully. I've changed my hover a little bit because it was hovering far too hard. <laughs> Floria says, drop by my house, Emma. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, that's a bit, that's a little bit of a hometown advantage you've got there, Floria. Okay, so we've done one end, but we do it on all four corners. There's the same process that we did, where are we? The same process we did on the little man's Asian bag there. I'll open the zip all the way. Yes, I've only done it on one end at the moment. The girls got to see me then going, put your back hand down there. <gasps> so we've Look got at this that. short little, ignore the other end because it's flat. No, Mind no, you, no, but then that gives me what I wanted. Cute and quirky little shapes. Whoa. But that will fit that's so rotary, much. That, that, that's a rotary cutter bag because it's fat at one end and it's thin at the other. But if you make it square, boxed out at both ends. Oh, well, well, see, that's see, what I was talking about. This we, is cool. If you oh, wanted it boxed, boxed out. The other end. Yeah. <laughs> but our intention was to box it out for the whole length of it so that we can fill it with. Travel line. Oh, Felicity so likes the musical. Stuff. Felicity likes the musical sound that the machine makes. It does make a lot of toots and boots and but but look how much stuff we can fit in Ooh. there. Ooh. That is cool. So alright, so if we put the zipping up the other end. Well it's not even the case of that if we box it out up the other end. We box it out. No yeah, that's right. Because the zip is in either way, it's and just the boxing look at that out. Funky end. That is so cool. See how different it is to this funky yeah. end. So you've got a tall bag. And a more squared out bag. That's so so cool. it's just in, in how you play with the zippers. So we've got flat. Oh, no, no, no. no, no, I haven't. No, I have. Okay. Oh. Flat. Connect. Yes. Flat with a fold back, just where we position the zip. With a little, when with we, a little strappy bit. With a wristlet, yep. Yeah. And we're going to, for this guy, add. A little tiny little version of this on mm. each end here mm. gives you something to hold on to when, when you, you pull, pull or pull. So we might put, can we put a longer one on maybe this end and then it will hang on a hook on the back of the bathroom door or something for the... Balance. I'd be inclined to put the longer one on this end so that you can uh, un yeah, unzip it down. halfway and yeah. have it hanging and okay. just your stuff doesn't all fall out. But yes, that I have learnt that ladies myself. I was given a gorgeous little leather bag for my birthday and the zip, the wristlet is on this end. Mm, so really it feels like it's a bit upside down. It's it's actually one that hooks in but it doesn't have another keeper on the other side. But if you put the wristlet or the pull tabs, the longer tab on the zip up end, beautiful. And all with the same technique. So cool. But yes, we know we've left drawer edges inside. <gasps> we would bind them. Yeah, we would. Just basic binding. So you just cut a length that's right and fold in the end yep. and fold it over that top seam. Top stitch. Top stitch. Done. Job done. 
Um, and it wouldn't even have to be with fabric. It, they do them with ribbon and stuff commercially yes. too, don't they? Or if you've got, like me, endy bits of satin binding or bias binding yeah. that you've used for other projects. Oh, speaking of ribbon, sorry, that reminds me. Housekeeping. 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 Oh, red ribbon. A lot of the things that I showed our friends on Sunday night. And we're in the newsletter. Yep, are actually, yeah, I know, I bombarded them. Um are actually showing showing out of stock Ooh. so please if you if you've missed out on something that you really wanted like the red ribbon or something please go in and put in um there's a little spot where you can say please email me when it's back in stock please do because some of the things like the ribbon that comes on a big reel we actually didn't know no, how much was on how it, much so was on it estimate. yeah so we we did estimate so i'll be going through all the out of stocks and double checking them all and just seen that lady's necklace. The lady, oh, over the back. Um, and then some things are out of stock that are pre-cuts and they're just out of stock because I haven't had a chance to cut them cut yet. More. And I could make it up and say, yeah, yeah, there's another six, but I have to be careful because I'm eating into stock. fabric we sell by the metre. Yep. I got caught out this week. Oh, poop. Yeah, so just with one. But so that's why they're not up there yet. So please do pop it down and then you get an email i know we did for those elephants that elephant print came back in oh yes and the second it went live we had five orders and i knew that was because those girls had asked for an email of when so it was is, back in is stock. it an option within the new magic website it's or? A, yeah it's an option in the magic <sighs> website. notify me when it's available yeah oh, it's an out of stock do you like that i like it oh, okay. You don't even have to send the email the the, the spotify not I spotify see. shopify <laughs> It's time it is. For water. It's like a combination of Steve and Shopify. It's a beautiful thing, except when he goes away and leaves me. Aww. No, no, I managed today. I did We've the burnout well. and everything. We do well, and I uploaded product. I do apologise for the state of the photos, though. They weren't brilliant for the zips and for the cake stand. It's just sitting on my kitchen table because uh, we did them in a real hurry. So we I do. will go back and make them look a little bit more special uh, when I can. All right. Thanks. Thanks, Em. That was awesome. My zip queen. <laughs> Who knew I would be sewing in four zips today? Four zips. So, um, bye for now. Thank you very much. As Sharon Keyes just said, bye for now. Bye for now. She's off. Um, we're off. Oh, there's so many lines there. I yeah, no, 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 no. Um, I will zip see off. you. Emma's going back to her real job. Let Tomorrow. me tell you, that blew my mind last week. Ah, I'm just going back to a real job. So I will see you on Friday. Uh, Quilters Life Girls, I did do a little bit of a filmy, filmy thing for you and the new Swedish crumble recipe, and I'm doing the chicken one as well. Ooh, the chicken sandwiches um, with no sandwich. So that'll come through in the next couple of days, Friday, Thursday, sorry, Wednesday, Thursday. I will see you Friday afternoon. Uh, Mum and Dad are popping back down on Friday. Oh, I thought you were on on Thursday afternoon. Why did we I changed it ages ago. <gasps> It's on somewhere, I've it's, read it. It's Friday. So, okay. so um, Mum's going to die because I think all of the remnants packs that she brought down... Are all gone? Yeah, it's showing out of stock. So, again, that's another thing. I will double-check and just see if we've got any more. She may, We may have miscounted a bit and there may be more coming back. But, um, yeah, now, so be mindful. So, they, I told the girls that was going out yesterday, and the patterns all arrived... But somewhere in the wisdom and the ch whiz the, wisdom, the, the wisdom, somewhere in the the wonderful world of Chinese whispers and in the the kingdom of printers, loss of pr translation, they actually packaged them up like they were buying one it as pattern. a kit as one. We Not don't know what happened. Up. Michelle's got a lot going on at the moment. She asked someone to do it for her. It all got mucked up, and so when it arrived here it was not as it needed to be so but she was very understanding and she let Cass and I take it and create from a hard copy of what we thought we were going to get create the pattern for you so as they are done they arrived just before the show I'm going off with a coffee now to pack those Andrew who we bribed with the banana cake is coming back through and picking them up tonight <laughs> well when you find out that your postmaster who manages your Australia post account literally drives past your house why would i go and did you just happen to step out at the right time uh, one day and saw him driving past no you? greg dobbed him in <laughs> um so they they are all on their way and if you haven't heard from us about your background um hillary arnold rang today and said i'm done my background we've tried to get everyone for be mindful if we haven't just drop, drop me an email and we'll get that sorted for you jill johnson was here and i 
didn't mm. even say hi. Jill, I always think of you when we do these colours because you are the queen of strong pastel. She's, oh. gosh, she can dress that girl. Jewel colours. Yeah, Jewels. She, she, she's a, also a monochromatic artist. Oh. So she'll do the all pink or the all yellow. Oh, she's amazing. Amazing, okay. amazing. Yes. All right. So thank you, Jill. You're most welcome. Thanks, everyone. Linda, thank you. And bye, bye everybody. Bye. And I will go and work at her turn Facebook off again. I've never mastered <laughs> it's it. It's a comedy um, every week. I'll see you at 2 o'clock on, on Friday. Friday. It's my catch-up day. Okay. It's Redeem Myself Day. I'll see you then. Bye. Bye. bye.